Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We did see a stock market reversal today. That was based upon witnessing indecisive trading down here in the oversold area on the Dow. Now, we needed to see a reversal signal to tell us the downtrend was over. The only negative in all the indexes was that the Dow, even though it closed right here at the T-line, did not close above the T-line. However, the NASDAQ, ever since it hit the bottom of the trend channel, had the opportunity of either, either failing here at the, the 50 and heading lower because of the downward trend channel or heading up to test this downward uh, resistance level of the channel. Not only did it test it, but it went through it today it was stochastic still heading up, giving a very strong impression that there was going to be more upside or the potential of a wave three to the upside. So the benefit of witnessing this allows us to start finding what was create more upside. FedEx announced earnings. They had a strong signal going into the close. After earnings or after their report after hours, they're trading up here, well above the breakout level, probably giving more confidence into the market. We've had other patterns like advanced micro that was setting up with a fry pan bottom. I'll kind of use this as a uh, precursor as to what we're going to be doing on uh, March 25th. The optimal option strategies would have been maybe buying calls here to see what it's doing at this level. On the breakout today, might have been more beneficial now to add spreads that make sense. And that's what we uh, go into is what spreads make sense, how far out and what spread price should you pay for them. So the fry pan bottom obviously produces a result that have great expectations. Our recommendation on BIVI was based upon the fry pan bottom, the breakout. And now there's a very simple rule to a fry pan bottom breakout. You stay long as long as it stays above the T-line. So the breakout factor is very important, especially when you can witness a pattern setting up prior to it, like we see on Apple. It closed right here at this resistance level today. If this opens positive tomorrow, you want to be buying. And this would be a case where we might do a combination of buying calls and buying bullish spreads further on out. So anytime we see a breakout level, like an F fly, you can see the left right combo. Now we're watching to see that obvious resistance level, whether it's going to be breached. When it is breached, now you're putting yourself in the situations where the probabilities of another strong might, uh, price move is pretty strong. So we have the visual benefit of identifying signals at levels that everybody else is watching to give us high probability trade results. HIMS did a piercing signal right smack dab off the 50 with stochastics in the oversold area making this a very high probability trade setup and or getting ready to buy on positive trading with the expectation that if they're buying on the pullback right at the support level, the next likely target is back up into the trend channel. So this is not rocket science. This is basically identifying when it's time to take profits on a short position. When you start seeing a bullish harami, and now a bullish left-right combo in the oversold area, right at the same level it bottomed out before. Very simple strategy. The puts would cover, would be covered because the probabilities are starting to go against you based, based upon seeing buy signals in the oversold area at a support level. And witnessing when you should cover your short positions also allows you to analyze the uh, Best friend signal, apparently on earnings on PCT, alerts you to not only getting out of short positions, but that best friend signal now gives us the indication we could be buying on positive trading from here.
essentially the visual aspects of candlestick signals and using confirmation indicators like the moving averages and the T-line and stochastics. That combination just dramatically improves the probabilities of being in the right place at the right time or getting out of a good position at the right time. So join us tonight. We're going to be doing a presentation on how to recognize these signals and patterns and uh, kind of doing a prelude to our uh, March 25th training on the a full day option training using the strategies that are appropriate for the specific option uh, or candlestick patterns. So when you combine those two, at least you're putting all the probabilities in your favor that you're going to maximize your profits off a trade. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.